Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. I might catch something. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. <laughs> Heard shit like that before. Sounds like scavs to me. ordered recently. Radio's turned way up. Probably to drown out the screaming. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Electric corp patch in the coveralls. Coveralls had a patch on him. Electric corp. Could be a costume, a prop. Factory worker fetish? Hard as hell to believe. Hmm. Yet it explained the higher thermal readings, too. You could be onto something. Scav woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs? Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. <laughs> Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm hmm Buck a slice. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a buck a slice. BC used to have a big Means someone's grabbing buck a slice regularly. Which is not something someone does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. <laughs> Poor fucker. Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll.
No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the dead's head moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter... What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So? If you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. All right, going in. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to the lower level. I've got a chainsaw, cocksucker! Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Hey, hold up. I'm close. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Hear that? That shirt. I know it. Evelyn's? Without a doubt. We don't 
don't have enough methionine for today's batch. Relax. Add RPL. Something. Wait to move your right. One sec. Got something that'll keep him busy. After that, we slip past him. Come out, damn it! Okay, now. way down. Careful. Two live ones there. I'll distract them. You take them. Beautiful. Stir up. to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Freed up the elevator. It should be easier to get out of here. Oh. You really don't fuck around, do you? Wait one sec for me. Reasons for firing.
That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable 2. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right. Let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's got to be seriously traumatized. She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? What's there to wait for? Didn't go through hell and back just to stand in front of a door. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not gonna happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. How's she feeling? <sighs> Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough, she already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah. Had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. 
Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Hey. How you feeling? You need anything? I'm not here to nag. Just talk. I know it's a bad time, but I gotta ask. You got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might? Listen, Evelyn. I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything, and do it soon, I'll die. You're right. This is a complete waste of time. Well now, look at you. Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. Take a look around if you want. Can't see your face. <sighs> Under no kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Every single piece of tech I see, security. We need Might not be important. Maybe. But all of them are from Pacifica. Now's down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Uh, should I... All right, I think we got everything.
What do you think? The woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her ship. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the voodoo boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. Further mention you are noble. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Cut another name. Something like. Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? The biochip we stole. It's, uh... It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are, who the woman is. Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. 
Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried they'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. It'd be tough getting a word into her. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah. Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. I have not had the pleasure of asking her personally, but it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos, won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. 